Roy, I'm pleased to inform you that your grandfather left you his beautiful ranch. That place means the world to me. And if I fire all of the staff and flying quality candidates from the big city, that place will be profitable in no time. It comes with some stipulation, son. Oh? Danielle, is she some relative I never heard of? The documents don't say the relation, but they're very clear. Clear as day. Howdy, Roy. Well, I'll be darned if it isn't little old Danny. Danny, I haven't heard that name in 20 years. I reckon you're gonna be hearing that a lot now. You and I are gonna be spending a lot of time together. <laughs> Danny, you seem different. It's been 20 years, Roy. Life in the country isn't what you big city slickers think. What is wrong with you? I move away to the city and that makes me some kind of monster? You don't understand. I need to clear my head. Danny. Maybe you can't see that I'm hard to hold. I know I'm a basket case you think should be alone. But I still have my friends, don't want you. All I need is them, don't want you. I can barely sleep because of you. But I still have my friends, don't want you. She really hasn't changed. Horses have been my refuge since childhood. They helped me through some tough times. Tough times, being the daughter of a banker? Right after you left our sleepy little town to go live with your dad in New York City. Both of my parents died and my house burned down on separate occasions. I didn't know that. What happened? We were visiting Kentucky for the horse races. Oh no, I feel like I know where this is going. My parents bet all of their money on Big Flashy Dancer, who ended up winning the race and winning the Triple Crown. This was gonna change everything for us. They were so happy. They raised their glasses in celebration to make a toast, but when they went to sip on their martinis, little shards of olives got stuck in their throat and they choked to death and died. This seems to be more common than you think. Tragic. It gets worse. The police blamed me and took the prize money. I've been alone ever since. Horses have been my only solace in life. Well, you're not alone anymore. We'll make this place a haven for the horses and for us. Really? Together. Whew, this here sure is hard work, but it feels good. <laughs> Don't worry, city boy. Your calluses will grow. Horses teach us that effort and love go hand in hand. Speaking of love, let's talk about something that I love. Magic mind. Danny, who are you talking to? Hold on, Roy. I'll get back to you in a second. I'm so confused. Just relax. Drink this. Sorry, guys. He's, well, anyway, Marina here. I've been drinking the magic mind shot with my coffee for the last four months. And I know what you're probably thinking, but no, it actually tastes really good. You know, it really does. Roy, what's in this stuff? Okay, good question. Magic Mine is a concoction of nootropics, functional mushrooms like lion's mane, and adaptogens. The work I do is pretty creative, if I do say so myself. I mean, I'm doing planning, script writing, character development, acting, editing, promoting, marketing, all the things. I mean, most of the time, I'm a one woman show. Um, excuse me? What about me? Magic Mind helps me stay focused on the hard creative work. At first, I thought I would notice a difference, like kind of how you feel when you drink an energy drink, but I didn't. It actually wasn't until the end of the day when I was reflecting on all the things that I'd accomplished and how productive I had been that I wondered, is this related to that tiny little shot that I drank this morning? So I drank it again the next day and the same thing happened and then the next day and the same thing happened and that was four months ago and I have been hooked ever since. I began to drink less coffee naturally. Now I enjoy about two, maybe three cups of coffee in the morning alongside my magic mind. I feel like I'm a lot more productive because I'm not as like easily distracted by just like grabbing my phone and mindlessly scrolling through social media. I'm a lot more focused. And the reason for that is because one of the ingredients in Magic Mind is Bacopa Monieri, which actually helps with impulsivity and procrastination. As you can tell, I can't say enough good things about Magic Mind. Oh, you like it too? 
I've been drinking it for the last four months on my own dime and it's now a part of my everyday morning routine. If you need a mental boost, I encourage you to give Magic Mind a try. Plus, they offer a 60-day money-back full guarantee, so it's literally risk-free. And if you use my discount code, Gypsy20, it'll get you 20% off your order. Oh, you like that. Zinni's all about saving money. Click the link in my description box to find your buzz-free remedy against procrastination. Ooh. Roy? Hannah. I didn't know you were back in town. My grandfather left me the farm. I've been back in town for a week now. You don't say. Yeah, I did just say that. Wanna grab a latte? I don't know, I, I should get back. Oh Roy, always playing hard to get. For old time's sake? I guess I could use a coffee. I knew you'd see it my way. Hey Aunt Sally. Yeah, I'm just walking into town to grab a coffee from the local coffee shop. <laughs> Stop, he's my boss now. But I mean, I guess I wouldn't be opposed to something. He's so different now. You don't even know, things are just really good here. And Sally, I gotta go. <laughs> I need to clear my head. I've been trying to fake it. I have said I can take it. But I think you should let me go. Cause I need some time. time. Cause it has been too long since I got any sleep. Yeah, it's been a while. For me, yeah, I need some time You sure rode for a long time tonight I had to clear my head Do you want to go for a walk with me? I'm finished with all my chores for today Unless you want to pay me overtime, then I'm done What? I said I'm done Danny Who's spitting her grits? Roy, there you are. Oh, hey, Hannah. I wasn't expecting you. So I was thinking we could go over the plan again and then maybe catch a movie in town. Uh, I don't know. Wow, this place has changed. I don't know about a movie, Hannah. You've changed, Roy. Some things change and some things stay the same. Mr. Roy, I'm done with my chores now. I'm gonna head into town. Mr. Roy, that's weird. But wait, Danielle, I want you to meet Hannah. Oh, Roy, it's a small town. We've met. Hello, Miss Calloway. Mm, so quaint. Well, now that the two of you have met, I thought that we could go over this idea that Hannah had for a fundraiser. That's above my pay grade. I'm here to take care of the horses, and that is all. I agree. She probably has no experience in this arena. But Danielle will know which horses will sell for the best prices. Wait, what? Hannah came up with a horse auction idea. That way we could lighten the load and save the ranch. Sell the horses? See, Hannah was saying that if we just sold half of the horses. I need to clear my head. Wait, Danny. Roy, some things never change. Why do all good things come to an end? I can't lose you too. Roy, there has to be another way to save the ranch without selling your grandfather's horses. Danny, I've personally done the math. This doesn't work unless we sell half the horses. We have to figure something else out, Roy. This is not what your grandfather would have wanted. Come on, Danny. We're in this together. The three of us? What are you talking about? I saw you and Hannah that day at the coffee shop. No, Roy, I get it. You and I were childhood friends. We can have a working relationship now, but nothing more. Hannah and I? <laughs> We're a thing of the past. I only have eyes for you now. Really? Really. So are we good now? Yeah, everything is great now. Except we still can't sell your grandfather's horses. I can't see any other way. Well, your father wasn't a banker. Mine was. Danny, what are you gonna do? I don't know, Roy, but I'm gonna figure it out. That girl, she's never gonna change. And I love her for it. I 
You've been at it for what, three hours already? And I still have three blank pages. Burning the midnight candle, I guess. Literally. I need a drink. What's this? Magic mind? I could use a magic mind. Ooh. That's it. X equals 1792. Please be awake, please be awake. Ugh, who's calling me so late? Hello? Roy, I did it. I solved for pi. And while doing so, I figured out that we need to raise $1,792 to save the ranch. Where are we gonna get that kind of money? I don't know, Roy, but I'm gonna figure it out. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know, it's kinda hard to read minds through the phone, but yes. But Diamond Dancer hasn't done an extreme trail course in 27 years. Roy, it's like riding a bike. I don't know, Danny. Believe in me, believe in Diamond Dancer. If anyone can do it, it's you. We got this. Get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow at the show. Are you sure about this, Danny? I just need to feed Diamond Dancer her breakfast, and then we'll be ready for the show. Now, entering the arena, hip number 43. Danielle Starkov on Diamond Dancer. Here we go, folks. They approach the box. That looks good. I can see the judges are happy with that. Well, that's sure a nice start for Danielle and Diamond Dancer. Our second obstacle, the bridge. Diamond Dancer never goes over the bridge. Step by step, she gets it done. Wow. Wow. It's like there's some sort of magic going on. I can't watch. <sighs> Diamond Dancer steps over that tarp like it's nothing but dirt. Unbelievable. Here we go, folks. It's time for the side pass. Well, shoot, these two are a match made in heaven. Beautiful side pass. But can they do the water jump? We don't think so. I don't know. I don't think she'll go over the water jump. Wow, she did it. All the other contestants might as well drop out now because Diamond Dancer and Danielle Starkov just won the entire show. This is a record breaker. Congratulations to our champion in Extreme Trail. We have never seen anything like it. Oh look, Danielle takes a victory lap. She deserves it if I dare say. Congratulations you two, congratulations. She did it, she won Extreme Trail. Wow, this is the most amount of money I've ever held in my hands before. Diamond Dancer, we saved the ranch. I'm so proud of you, Danny. You too, Diamond Dancer. I'm proud of us. This just goes to show that with hard work, horses, and a little bit of magic, anything is possible. You know, I'll admit I had my doubts, but I'm a believer now. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video. And don't forget to check out Magic Mind and use my code at checkout, Gypsy20, to get you 20% off your order. See you all in the next one. I reckon you'll be hearing it. <laughs> so that's just in my mouth. Inside my mouth. You don't understand. I need to clear my head. <laughs> I did it, I cleared my head. <laughs> Feel much better, Roy. Come here. <laughs> Roy, I'm... <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Oh, that's Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get away from her. Yeah, I, I was thinking we could go over the plan. <laughs> no. no, can't save it. Okay. Roy, you've changed. 
Some things change. <laughs> Some things stay the same. What's up, Zeusk? Just checking things out. Yeah, it's okay. She's like, what are you doing? You're so weird. Yes, I am. Yes, I am.